And we're live in three, I thought we were two, getting... one. I know you see somehow the world will change for me and be so wonderful. Dude, we sound do, ding, do. <laughs> I it like, breathe there. I know somehow we're gonna get there and be so wonderful. Somebody show some toes. Wonderful. Do, do. Hey, so how do you guys feel about that whole foot scandal? Does it bother oh, you? Oh, with at Nickelodeon all? and all that? Yeah. Well, oh, with Dan I didn't understand that until like you guys started talking about it. I never under- I saw I saw like videos of it and I was like, dude, what does this mean? I don't know. What yeah, does this mean? Did you see with him and uh on uh Victorious with or no not Victorious That's all but of the with videos, uh, aren't they? Are you talking about yeah, it's Victorious with so, Ariana Grande? Yeah, that That's was Victorious. weird as yeah, fuck. Yeah, and then yeah. Wait, what, can you explain what, what was weird as fuck? Was the it what, like the uh, the uh, his um the camera just it's not, re- it's not recording anything. Oh, oh yeah. The um, what was he? He was like, he was like, f- like threatening them. He was like using very gentle, threatening words to like, oh, she would never do that. Like laughing and then touching her, and then like she just looks scared as fuck. I never saw anything like that. I saw like all the weird videos of like him being touchy or like. It was it was it was behind the scenes. Like nah, they weren't they were like that. the the cameras. Did anyone off. talk about it? Uh, that's um, I don't know if it was proven. I tried to ask Bailey and Bailey like I don't think it was proven. I don't think it was like Oh proven. no, he got no he Oh got, he got he's he like got a, fired from Nickelodeon. But he's not like a registered pedophile though, is he? I don't know. Hey, but you know um Jamie Cupola. Uh, who's the cameraman on iCarly? Freddy. Freddy So Freddy's address is a dick. It's eight equals D. I thought that was pretty funny. Oh, I saw So you that. know when there's like two doors? Twitter. Yeah. Not yeah. his real address. Like oh, the iCarly. Like, oh, I was like, wait, oh, wait, what do you mean eight equals D? Wasn't it an iCarly? Like, you know, as his uh his room or his fucking apartment, apartment yeah. Whatever, is across yeah. from iCarly. So when they like go in that, her name's hallway, Carly. It's not iCarly. <laughs> Sorry. When they go in that, ha- I know I'm having a bunch of brain farts. When they go in that hallway, his address is eight. Or is it eight, eight, eight equals D. Yeah, so Wait, like eight a, a equals. So you know D? when you type in eight equals D. Equals D. It looks like a. Why dip. would it be an equal sign though in an apartment? Because it's the shaft. They did it on purpose to make okay, it. Okay, okay, I get it. Okay, yeah. I get it. I get it. I get it. I oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, I, I yeah. get it now. I get it now. It makes sense. Yeah, kind of. Um. Anyways, there's a lot of Dan Schneider. Jokes. Yeah, but then I w- if that is okay, yeah, you're looking it up because if that is true, I feel like Spencer. I didn't see would be like would be like talking to Miranda Cosgrove on the side, like, hey, like this should not be happening, like, like Dan should not be saying this type of shit to you. I've seen. You know, clips. I would think that there'd be a lot of other like yeah. people on set that would say something. Yeah, I just see a bunch of pedo like there pedophile was a, stuff. There, like, there's a lot of he, stuff about Sam say, like, too that she was going through something, like, or um, she's getting she Sam. wasn't getting paid enough. There's a bunch of things. Yeah, no, they're being mistreated. But. See, when I did Kellogg's, bro, <laughs> it was similar. And, like they requested that <laughs> hey, all the kids. How'd you wear how'd you get that role? How'd you get that role again? Because I don't think they him, know. They found him. They <laughs> found he, you, huh? He, he I tell the story. The I tell the story for them. Oh, yeah. recording it, and they're like, "We have an extra bike. Can you ride a bike?" And oh, no, see, that's not I, how I thought you auditioned. Went. So they just, they just, so they, just they were missing someone. Times. They were missing three. someone, and they Nick, saw were you, you there. You were you there? And they three? said, "They said we need another white kid." That's you what they said. three times riding a bike the same exact way. No, the first time I didn't ride the bike. The first time they wouldn't let me touch a bike. What did they? What to pretend? I had to pretend to eat cereal. You had to pretend to eat cereal. Were you actually eating cereal in the commercial though? Yeah, when you were. Oh, oh no, 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 no! I didn't get, I didn't get the big. What was goal. the line when you had to like eat the cereal? What was the line? What was your line? I was, mm, it was I great. Said, I said some shit like, like, "It's great." I love baseball, or something. I don't really remember my line. I didn't have any lines. I wore a blue T-shirt, and that's how I got <laughs> recognized. I remember when the commercial came out, though. Uh, I was hyped. He was so fuck, high, bro, bro, and he comes up to me, and, Nick. That's me. That's me. And it was like, it like was half a second. I was like, "Fuck, <laughs> get some." <laughs> <Nick>. <laughs> I was like, fuck, which one's it? I was so scared to show people because literally every one of my big ones got cut out. I'm not going like, to lie. What big ones? I'm so, okay, whatever. Because you film for two days, so you get a lot of fucking footage, and then they make it down into like, they just use whatever they want to use. But you know what he, I mean? Same thing happened to me. He showed, I thought he was going to be the main kid right, coming down on the bike. <laughs> the middle, the middle okay. kid. He's it, on the far <laughs> left. Bro, but like, but like, you see my face, and like, I'm the no, way. No, that you don't. Bro, bro, <laughs> if you pause, it at a time and like zoom in a little bit but bro That's i look cool lie. as fuck on the bike though if you pause it i look cool as fuck hey, on the bike if you pause it what do you know where yeah i could find that shit i found it i found it did no you way. <laughs> you have it saved <laughs> no you go on uh ispot.tv he has it saved he has you it go on ispot.tv hey, hey. and look up frosted saved. flakes uh fuel and fun if you want to see your boy he has an here. he has a whole archive okay uh, okay i want us to watch the whole commercial I'm in a blue. Fuck this. Yeah, I remember this. I, remember. I thought that was gonna be you, Austin. Yeah. That was, that's what I was no, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's look for Austin. Okay, I'm that's not shirt. Austin. I'm in a blue shirt. You see me right, right there. Okay. <laughs> right there. You see me right, right. 
Damn! Uh, uh, <laughs> no, we're right there! Right 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 Hey, put it like 0.5. Put it like 0.5. I don't think I can do no, that. Oh, is this not on YouTube? Is this not on YouTube? Wait, pause it. Let me see. Let me see. Because I never got a good look at your face. Let me Austin, see. Austin, I never got a good Austin's look at your face. Austin's trying to pedal to the front so fast, bro. Look at, look at the guys. Bro, I look tough as fucking. I was about to do a wheelie or something, bro. <laughs> He's fucking. You know what's so funny? They just told Austin. I love this. I love this fucking video. No, no, no. my peak right here when I was like 11. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait. I bought so many Nerf guns with all my fucking like money from it. You had to audition three times for that? Huh? You had to audition three times for that? Hey, you, they don't just Did you actually anyone, make bro. money for that? Because you always say yeah, you did. I made like, I made like, like 1800. Really? Yeah. I made, okay, so what happened? You told me 18 grand. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I make 18,000 for that? You told me, Sean, I made 18 grand, but I'm not allowed to touch it till I'm 21. No, so that, no, it was 18, <laughs> but they fucked up. <laughs> they put it, knows. they put it in my wrong account. They put it, you have, uh, when you, when you start doing jobs like that, you have a certain, like a, uh, I forgot what it's called. Like quota. A, an acting account. It's it. literally for entertainment or like for entertainers. And fucking, they put it in like some other account that I was able to access. Uh, so I got all that money. My mom paid herself for the acting classes and the gas. And mm -hmm. then she gave me the rest in my Wells Fargo. And then I was like, hey mom, like I want like 400 bucks cash, like just to have. And she's like, uh, How okay. Old seventh grade. <laughs> what were you spending 400 bucks on in seventh grade? So this grade? is the thing. I, had a, I got like a really nice red like uh, alligator leather wallet. And I brought it to junior high uh, oh. with like, with like $280 cash in it. I lost it. <laughs> how, I, much, how much was the wallet? Like 70 bucks. Mm -hmm. I like, I lost like 300 bucks at parks <laughs> and I was so sad, bro. All right, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen, this is Suburb Talks. I'm your host, Nick Rajeda. Joining me tonight, we have Austin Don Vito. I keep looking at the light because I think oh, it's the camera. Good, good. Are you, oh, oh yeah. Hi. hi. <laughs> Seanson Williams. Hello. And that's basically it. It's just us three for the night. Um, just three dudes getting it on. You know, we don't know where it might go. I think I know where it's gonna go though. We're all gonna make out at the end of this. But anyways, yes. first question of the night. You brought it up to me the other day, and I agreed with you. Do you think the term "buddy" is a put down? Like, if I put the term "buddy" in, like in a in a sense, so like, I'm like, "Hey, buddy." No, 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 no. So, calm down, buddy. Hey, buddy chill out. Calm down, buddy. Yeah. I find it a put down. As a put, okay. Or define, not, okay, okay, so. Define put down for Let's me. say we're talking and I say something yes. stupid and you're a stranger to me. You're a stranger to me and I just say something stupid or something like that. You're like, you're like, oh, I don't think that's it, buddy. That's a little bit like a put down uh, to me. You know just, what I'm saying? I don't know. Like, you put it in a, what was, what happened with you? You said it in a good way. You were I on know, the phone I had phone a really somewhere? good word. You okay. said you were on the oh, phone see, with Oh, it's it, degrading, it's bro. It's, it's kind of like degrading. degrading. It's like they're like, there's a, they have a power leverage over you when they put buddy. Yeah, so what happened with you? Yeah, yeah, what was the dialogue with you I like, when someone said uh, it to you? He was like, I talked to him for like 20 minutes or whatever. He was being a dick on the phone. And he was like, you know what, buddy? Like, I just, I just don't need this. Yeah. And I was like, that whole fucking time. Every like, time I've uh, heard like buddy in a sense, it's felt like degrading towards me. Yeah, it's never been in a positive. It's never been Damn, in a positive bud. way. <laughs> but Bud's fine. You know what, bud? Oh hey, bud. Uh, but see, hey, bud. But see, that's okay, fine. Look, look, like, but when, when someone's up, saying bud, like, right, bud, when someone's saying bud, I'll, though. I'd rather take bud than buddy. The, when the someone says hurts. bud, I feel a lot younger. Like they're putting me in like in a younger sense. You, you know where some people are like, you're like, oh, you're a little kid to me or like son or something mm -hmm. like that. I feel like it's kind of in that scenario where you're talking like I'm um, like I'll younger than you. You know what I'm saying? An argument with all right, bud. Okay, but That's what I'll say. okay, but you're just saying that just cause. Yeah, I'm. Just okay, like, I remember you and Luke, or I'm pretty sure you guys were always well, saying, buddy. These mics are fucking huge. I know you just need to talk into it like this though. Um, and Luke, what? I remember you guys used to say, buddy, a lot though. Like, yo, no, like that ain't it, buddy, or something like that, or like, let's go here, buddy. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. And, and, yo, I told you, I used to say it all the time yeah, until someone said it to me, and I was like, fucking assholes. The way you're saying it. I feel like every time, if it's not one of my homies and someone says buddy to me, if I'm, I'm going to take it my ass off and I'm like, all right, buddy, like fucking around. It's not that bad. But if I'm like, if I'm like, hey, all right, buddy. Like, yeah, like that, yeah, like that. Like that. Of course that. But like if we're fucking around and I'm like, that's not it, buddy. No, yes, yeah, yeah, that's true. Like, but like, I'm picturing like Sage or Devin saying it to me while we're live. I, don't, I wouldn't take it offensive. But if like I said something stupid and Austin was like, yeah, that's not it, buddy. Yeah, it's all like, about I'll, how they I'll do be like, All right. That's, yeah, all right, exactly. But if you up. hit him with the, if you hit him with the, all right, man, like yeah. that's not it. I wouldn't really be noticing it as much as you being like, all right, buddy, that's uh, not yeah, it. Yeah, I kind of agree. Yeah. Buddy yeah. is kind of like, all right, It's dickhead. degrading. Don't, don't use buddy. Yeah, unless little, you want to purposely degrade them. Unless, yeah, unless you purposely want to degrade them. But I don't know if that's just, uh, if that's just us. Like, you kind of feel us now, right, with the term buddy? No, no, no. I, I, yeah, I understand. Like I said, it just depends the way you say it or who says it. Or if it's like a It's how it's stranger. delivered, Even if they bro. say it, though, like, if we're all, like, laughing. If I say something stupid and we're all laughing, he's like... That's he's, not it, buddy. Yeah, like, okay. If he says it's just like that, like, okay. But you got to be, like, laughing with it. But if it's, like, dead silence, he looks at me. He's like, all right, buddy, that's not it. Yeah. Like, I would be like, all right. Is there any other, like, other term that... 
isn't or shouldn't necessarily be taken as degrading, but is degrading. Sp- uh, like if someone says sport or champ, I'm not. I don't really care. Sport. Nah, I just probably laugh at them. Sport. Yeah. Same or champ. Tiger. Hey, tiger. 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 That's. That's, 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 yeah, that's no, my, I, I, my bad. I yeah, I feel that. like Buddy is the only one that I get. Like, yeah, cool I like how you brought it up the other, the other day with me because I was like, because I thought I was the only one that kind of thought that Buddy was a little bit weird to yeah. say to someone, especially like if you're like if you're meaning to do it too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's an asshole move. Yeah, so now you, you're gonna stop saying Buddy, right? No. You're still gonna say. It's kind of fun saying Buddy because you're like you're like a like the definition of a white bully, in my opinion. <laughs> like it's just like if I knew a white guy that was like. Like Austin, if we're in seventh grade, I feel like he plays by the movies. Like to make a girl, to impress a girl, he's an <laughs> asshole towards someone. You know, he's the definition of a. That's not true, dude. It is, I bro. I was raised different. Dude, than I, that. you have said some fucked up <laughs> you know, things. Yo, to yo, you gotta stop. You me. gotta stop using that excuse. What? You gotta stop using no, single mother an excuse. excuse. You use I'm it. I was raised better than being a bully. No, I know that, but you're probably nah, you're nah, probably about to say, "Hey, I was raised by a single mother." Bully, I, know. I was just saying bully, I wasn't bully raised. is the wrong about. term. I, I, but like you are an that asshole guy. I was see, yeah, I was thinking a fucking dick. the other D word, but it's just not. That's not him. What's he, the douche, douchebag. Douchebag. douchebag? He's not a douchebag. I just, but I see him like he's douchey. He, like, like. If you're if you see a girl when we were younger, you would be an asshole to me probably to look cool in front of like yeah girl. probably yeah, exactly. Luke was the same way though <laughs> yeah I mean I, I remember like, I remember Luke was that same I way feel like at that age I mean yeah that's what you got a do. lot of most most people I don't probably, think the only way you get it did that no nah, I was never mean to the girl but uh, no not, not to mean the to the girl, girl to oh, oh friend, to the homie oh no 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 to get no, 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 to no. get like attention like yeah yeah but you yeah. was doing front flips in front of girls yeah I was doing front flips I wasn't hurting people I was hurting my own ass that's true that was tough that's true uh. I remember you'd have your car and you didn't have your license yet, and that was the biggest flex for you. <laughs> remember my Volvo? Yeah, with the you, block you rocker in the license. back seat. I, Dude, I the remember block rocker I had my in license. the back. No, you didn't seat. have it yet. Yeah, I don't know if you had a permit, but we were all leaving. We were leaving the basketball game or something. And he goes, oh, how yeah. you get home, bud? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> just like, just like that. And I was like, uh, and I had my, I had my dad's uh, flex keys just because I had the house key. Yeah. And so he's like, oh, you have keys. Where's the, where's the car at? And he knew I didn't drive the car. I don't remember uh, this at all. Dude, but <laughs> I, I think there was, uh, so I'm just not going to name. There's a girl there. And I, in my head, I was like, this fucking bitch is doing it. Just to, <laughs> <laughs> and I, yeah. And then so I, so you're like, hey, probably, like, bro. Yeah, fuck, yeah, if, yeah, I go, yeah, if I go back, I I'm not going to change. I remember the year, bro. Biggest biggest car keys, the fuck yeah. biggest, like, in my head, douchebag moment. This guy, like, gets out. He's like, he's flipping his keys. Like, let's go do dumb. I had, I had that lanyard. <laughs> hey, I had that lanyard, bro. I'm like, walking the halls, like, <laughs> when I was, bro, bro, <laughs> when I first got my license when I was a junior, bro, I immediately bought a Lancer's uh, uh, lanyard, lanyard and I tucked it in. I tucked the keys just in my pocket. I walk around. I remember I was in Spanish class. I pulled it out and I dropped it. And I was like, oh, you did that. I swear. <laughs> Spanish class. I think you were. I remember Alana called me out. She was like, you did that on fucking purpose. Like, no, I fucking didn't. And I was like, it just fell out of my pocket. And I was like, and everyone's like, I did you got your license? And I was like, I never. Yeah, I drive a Toyota. Was it, it was a minivan. Oh, yeah, minivan's hard, bro. Dude, but some people, you guys will not understand like how it was putting like a block rocker or like a speaker and strapping it in with the seatbelt. Oh, my block music. rocker broke. I broke my first block rocker. Why? Because you were bumping it too hard? And I was bumping it too hard and then I would like turn really hard and then the whole fucking thing would just topple and then the wood back. Like, Did you I, not buckle it in? No, I don't think okay, so. so. I don't think I was that wrong. smart. I think I put a pillow. I think I put like a pillow next to it. Pillow. 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 I say pillow. Pillow? I say pillow. With the E? It sounds yeah. softer. Oh, do you say pillow? comfortable or comfortable? Comfortable. 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 No, wow. it's spelled no, comfortable. You say, you say caramel, you. don't you? No, I say caramel. Okay. I think we oh, you say caramel. Caramel. Uh, you, no, caramel. I, you say caramel. caramel. I swear. I, say so caramel. I used to say caramel. caramel, but I say caramel. No, but I say comfortable. Wh- where the fuck? You're missing an A there, but caramel? buddy. Caramel? Caramel. It's caramel. You're missing oh, an A. I love doing this. Wait, what's an O? Oh, notification or do people notification. say notification? People say no not- notification. notification. I've never heard someone say notification. I've heard, I've heard someone say that. I think I've heard like <laughs> say notification or <laughs> says some dumb shit. Oh, she says picture. <laughs> <laughs> says like for a picture, like let's take a picture. She says let's take a picture. You say pillow. It's a pillow. Pillow. Pillow with the eye. I say pillow. Pillow. Give me a pillow. Pillow sounds softer. I don't want to sleep on a pillow. I want to sleep on a pillow. <laughs> Hey. Like fuck, bro. <laughs> okay, like, okay, about- but you gotta agree with me. Caramel is not right because you're missing an A. It's caramel. You're missing an A caramel. on caramel. Caramel. Silent. No. Caramel. Car. Data or data? Data. Data. Yeah. Data. What's the data? 
That's like a supposedly or supposedly. Hey, how much data do I have supposedly. on my phone? Yeah, wait, data, wait, me? data or data? How much data? I say data. I say how much data, I, I say do, how I much data do you have left? Yeah, I okay. Data. I've switched it actually. So, because some people, everyone confuses me. I hear people say different things, so I start saying. You know what's weird is when I see YouTube videos of people talking to their dogs in another language. I'm like, fuck. They really don't know what we're yeah, saying. Like oh, like in German or some shit. Yeah, like, shit. and like and like the dog knows what's good. Shit. And then the dog does like a front flip or some shit. Well, that's gnarly. That's, that's gnarly. No, shit. dog <laughs> <laughs> flips. <laughs> Not but fucking like, dude. I'm sorry, but I thought you were going like. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't mean it like that. You know I, mean? I was like, what the fuck? I didn't mean it like that. I'm, I'm sorry. I, Wait, what I, the fuck, bro? bro now I feel fucking bad. I didn't mean it like that. Okay, I was like, shit. Okay, okay, you came here. And I didn't know if you were going to stop. Gonna, you I thought I was going to do the full extension? Yeah, and we were, you were talking about a German <laughs> dog. Right? And I was like, oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I didn't not. I didn't mean anything by that. Oh shit! <laughs> no, 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 nah, 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 nah. Okay, you're right, you're right, you're all right. Hold up. We gonna put this on a pause. Just, hey, are you serious? You say pillow or pillow? Pillow. Pillow, right? Who says pillow? Pillows over you here. You just said the same word okay. twice. <laughs> caramel or caramel? Caramel. Thank caramel. Wait. Like not like a camel. Caramel. <laughs> caramel. 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 Hey. Right? Like a mix of the both. Hey, twigs or twigs? What? Huh? Exactly. We can go all day with this, bro. Wait, <laughs> hold up. How do you say crayon? crayon. Not like that. Oh, what the fuck? How I do say, you say crayon? Say, you just <laughs> emphasized crayon. every single letter in that crayon. letter. I say crayon. that word. Crayon. I say crayon. Crayon. C R A N. I don't know why the Y O had to be there. Crayon. On, on the crayon. On the crayon. Hey, did you guys know? In case of an, if you're in Texas right now, get some crayons and light the crayon. Okay, now you're, egg, egg, now you're saying it wrong. Now you're saying it wrong. Crayon. It's because oh, we I keep saying say the word over and over again. So it's just fucking with crayon. my psyche. That one fucks me up. I'm not, I'm not saying fucking passing with that the one. crayon. That fucking me up right You're now. You're emphasizing the yawn. Because everything else we said is okay. That, this yeah. is drawer. fucking me up right now. Drawer. Like the drawer. 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 Cabinet. Drawer. Cabinet. <laughs> Wait, hey, I was playing Scrabble today and you I said guys? cabinet, bro. Yo, hey, how, was, hey, you didn't actually tell me. Were, are you good at Scrabble or are you not no, good? No, like dog shit. I guess I don't know English. Were you matched? Bailey like fucking cream me <laughs> <laughs> syrup everyone says syrup syrup maple syrup, syrup. maple drip i say syrup. syrup oh what about egg do you say egg or egg there's egg. people say egg hey do you guys like your eggs scrambled eggs eggs because eggs. 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 i always have two of them nevada i don't have an egg. nevada i think nevada, nevada for californians but i think everyone like eastern is probably saying like nevada are you really looking all these up caribbean or caribbean <laughs> caribbean <laughs> Pirates, Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, look, <laughs> I say the Caribbean, but uh, if I'm reading the movie, I say Pirates of the Caribbean. But Pirates of the Caribbean still sounds... You say tour or tour? Tour. Hey, what before, can right? a girl call you that makes you really, like, shut the fuck up? Like, the, what, what they really undermine not like you with one like word. Slut, they like undermine, yeah, they undermine you, but not, like, not saying, like, yeah, like, slut or, like, yeah. bitch or Like, like another, girl, like, though? yeah. Like a slight, isn't it? Isn't it called like? Well, do you? girls call you buddy, and do you get upset? Like, are you like shut like the fuck up? Like for guys, if, if no. I went to Austin, I was like, hey, hey, buddy, that's not it. It's undermining. So it's like undermining. he's showing that he has like power. Superiority. Over. Yeah, yeah. But so, girls don't so go do up girls to girls. Have that word, buddy. Like, what if they not say like? Really. You got okay, something? Dude, what about sweetie? Like, okay, sweetie. Ooh, that's. No, that's kind of like cute. You know, like if like babe. Like the fuck? Yeah, I guess you're not gonna fight someone. Like, what's up, sweetie? Yeah, like, like, you know what I mean? What's honey? up, buddy? Yeah. What's up, buddy? Yeah. That's like, just like yeah. weird though. Nobody, I feel like. I feel like girls slight each other in like phrases. You know what I'm saying? Like not words. Yeah, like passive aggressively. Yeah, like passive aggressively. Like, oh my God, I like your hair. But they <laughs> the fucking don't. You know what I'm saying? Hold up. No, not yeah, like the way. Yeah, that's the way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at this I fucking. I've seen some, people, some girls be so fucking. Hey, you don't what? We don't even want you anymore. What yeah, pick up a tall fuck, bag. Sean? It's because he didn't come. This is why you're an podcast. asshole, bro. I'm not Bye. This is why when I, I meditate, so I try to project as much positive I've energy. I've gotten so it, much better. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. You have gotten a little bit have better. Girls, have yeah, girls gone up to you and been like, I like your hair? Me. I can How ask. Like I can ask. You say, like I said, I might do little asshole things, but you say the really fucked up things that bring No, no, no. I just don't have a Agree. Agree with me. I can be an asshole by taking little... Like fucking or No I'm you're like just stubborn things. bro You're stubborn just stubborn But he will say One really fucked up thing and But I feel like He you. never means it Yeah exactly I feel like you mean like it Like what, what, what happened With Taylor Like I didn't mean it And obviously we're on Good terms now I'm an asshole for that moment But I'm not I didn't, I'm not carrying that Over to now Because we've settled that Like she understands it was. As long as he says That he like, has a single mother Yeah that he was fine. raised By a single mother yeah. I don't put it on him Exactly Wow 
I'm gonna what get about a when Nick says I Stop. have daddy <laughs> issues? <laughs> I said that. I said that once in a game lobby, just trying to be funny, and hey, you thought was I was fun. talking about your dad's Parkinson's. <laughs> you were. Not, no. At least my I, dad doesn't have. Uh, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> you were holding I back, said, bro. I said, Sean, you seem like someone who would have daddy issues because he's pissing me oh, off. Oh no, that's right. And then you were and like, then he and was then like, you're like, because my dad is. Dude, I was all quiet. Like, <laughs> like no, dude, I was. <laughs> Have daddy issues? Yeah, yeah I, I have daddy issues. Everybody has daddy issues. Yo. Got issues. I would not like yeah. to say daddy issues. I just makes you feel weird. Parent, parental. I have, I have daddy issues. issues. I don't think guys say that. Guys just say that they were parental fucking, problems. I don't even know what guys say. I don't think we say anything. I think, mommy yeah. issues. I think we just talk do, to her right now. Do hand. guys All have guys mommy have issues? issues? All guys do. No. I don't really? Think I, I don't have mommy I don't issues. Do. I, I fucking love my mom. I love my mom. No, but like. My mom makes me do dishes. I don't know what you guys are on about. <laughs> so you, got, you got mommy I love issues? my mom. I'm kidding. I love my mom. Dude, your mom. mother is like, should be your, like, that is like an angel from heaven. Yeah. I mean, um, without her, I don't think I'd be here. So shouts the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just shouts the fuck out. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> now, now you want to see white, dude, no, white douchebag. Because no. I feel like I don't even... <laughs> I don't even need to explain to you guys about my mom because you guys, Shots we all know each yeah, other's mom. Shut the fuck out, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be I on this planet if without you. So Shut the fuck, fuck out. out. She's trying to kick me out right now, bro. Oh, her, her new boyfriend literally so like, he's like, like, hey, you see that couch I brought over from my house? Davey? Yeah, David. He's like, you could have that for when you move out. I'm like, Wait, the, so that's the slight. So like, say he's, buddy? He's, did you say no, money after that? Okay. Uh, no. Would you have taken offense? You you said like, I took offense already because he's like, you can have these couches for when you move out, so I'll save them here. You should have said, I'm like, there's a fucking Do you still pay? Or no, you don't yeah, pay. Yeah, I still pay. Like, hey, bud, I still pay the bills. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Yeah. Yeah, good. Him with the double bud buddy. Hell. Yeah, Loki bought a movie on his Amazon account tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it was That's six bucks. Yeah. yeah. So do you like him or no? Huh? Yeah. No, I don't yeah, know no, I fuck with him. But I mean, I mean, like, that house is so fucking Why does she want you to move out? Huh? She wants you to move out or they. Both want you to move out. I don't think they want both to move parties. Out. I think it's just both party. It's getting small as fucking. I don't house, think. Bro. I don't think like either. Because like Bailey, if Bailey wasn't yeah. in the picture, it'd be fun. Yeah, but, like she's over like all the time. Okay, I don't know. Will she get sad about what you just said right now? I just want to look out for you. <laughs> like if you say no, she knows it's okay. small. Okay, David good. walked in on her taking a piss. Oh. Yeah, and she's like, and I hear David. He's like, oh. Oh, <laughs> and like, I'm, like, I'm like in the bedroom, like, oh fuck, bro. He felt so bad. It was so funny, dude. Oh my gosh, bro. If I walked in, oh yeah, that's weird. If I walked in on my son's girlfriend peeing, well, you know how it works. Like he didn't see anything. He just hit I know. the knee and like he was like, oh shit, someone's in there. No, it's probably for Bailey too. That'd be weird. He, this motherfucker just talks a lot, bro. He's got ADHD. <laughs> He's got a real. By the way, I'm not clinically diagnosed with ADHD. <laughs> People be commenting like, Do you know yo, I relate to Austin so much. <laughs> Someone commented, can we get 10 minutes of Austin uncensored? I didn't respond, but I was like, oh. It, guys, I have I like, like over oh. like an hour of uncensored Austin that I, oh, we would just go to jail yeah. for. No, it's not that bad. It's just, go to jail. It's, it's just dark humor that you can't put out there. I don't like dark humor. I don't say dark humor. Do I? I feel like Dark humor, bro. Like le- making jokes about fucking like people in... Bad places. Bad places right now. No, I don't. I don't do that. Well, I mean, that's like not you, dark like, humor. That's dark humor. It's fucked up. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's no, fucked up. There's a level of funny. dark humor. It's bro. fucked like, up if it's not funny. You're just not exposed to dark humor if you don't know about it. Like, there's some fucked up dark humor yeah. shit. <laughs> if I saw a joke about like people in Texas, which I have, I don't fuck with it because it's happening right now. You know oh, I mean? so you're saying that you don't like dark humor that's happening at that very moment? It, it has to be a couple of years. You laugh at the fucking football player. No, who was it? Who was the guy who left his house to go to Cancun? Yeah, Ted Cruz. That's funny. That's funny. Funny, because he's funny. an asshole. Like, what a joke. He's in the wrong, because he's in the wrong. Yeah. Wait, so why, why is he in the wrong? Because he's the fucking... He's the state senator. And he leaves everyone. Oh, he's a, dying, so it's kind of like... It's kind of like... Thought Ted Cruz is a movie actor. Me too. That's Tom Cruise. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> I so he was that is why kidding. I didn't understand why it was bad. <laughs> that but now I understand. Dude, I would be so upset. Who's Ted Cruz? He's S- Ted Bundy. A lot of action Wait. movies. No. Action no, movies. No, Tommy Cruz. Tommy Cruz, Tom. Air Force One guy. No, that's Tom that's Brady. Tom Cruise. That's Tom Brady. Wait, no, what? he shot Air Force Top Gun one. No, so who's that's Tom Ted Brady Cruz? and two. That's, that's not Tom, Tom Brady. Brady. You piece of shit. Ted Cruz, one oh, that plays well, football. <laughs> Tom Brady. Tom Brady is the short guy. We're talking here. about Ted the Cruz short guy. Is the Tom Cruise. Impossible. That's Ted Cruz is the senator of Europe. <laughs> no, that's Tom Brady, bro. That's Tom Brady. Wait, isn't Tom Brady the football player? No, that's Tom Cruise. He fucking dude. He Tom Cruise is the that's actor. That's Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is five Anyways, two. Let's get.
to the impressive. fucking podcast. Okay. Yeah, like I can hour, ask this question. <laughs> I'd ask this question without copying. Please don't okay. step on my white, um, white, the white man. So I remember the last time, I think it was like a couple podcasts ago. We didn't really go into depth about this. Uh, it was when we had like uh, Ruby and just Julie over, right? Um, and they were talking about how, uh, remember they were talking about being, ho- they called it homie oriented. And they were saying things like, oh, I wouldn't date someone who's like homie oriented. And like, meaning that I wouldn't date someone who's like all about his homies. You know what I'm saying? Like puts his homies before anyone else. Oh, okay. Do you, ha- you know what I'm, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, but do you guys get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, their motive. Yeah. Okay. So my question to you is, especially to you, is like, why is that bad? I feel like that kind of shows that this guy has like priorities with the people that he like fucks with. You feel me? Like he has his own priorities. He's got the people that he loves and he just doesn't want to like leave that. You get what I'm saying? I feel like it becomes a problem when it's like he would rather be with his homies. Than you? Yeah. Or like he doesn't want to like bring you with him. Okay. But take for example, take for example, us not being in a relationship. Let's say you take a look at me and I'm let's cause I'd say that I'm pretty homie oriented cause they were saying yeah. that I'm like crazy homie oriented. Would you be like, would you look at me and be like, oh no, like I would, I would have problems with that guy because he's always with his homies, he's always putting his homies first. You get what I'm saying? I don't think you should have a problem with that. Yeah. Cause that's you, Cindy. Like my coworker, she told me, she was like, uh, my boyfriend should like only like, uh, want attention from me and only like give that's attention scary. to me. scary. You know, she's like, why else does he need anyone else? Like, why should he have anyone else when exactly. he has me? So like a lot of people have that <laughs> mindset. Crazy. And then a lot of people are like, yo, thank God my boyfriend hangs out with his friends because I can't take him for more than See, three days. What do you, you guys I mean? think like, about that mindset, though? That mindset where it's like, um, you're in a you're in a relationship with me. I should be. Uh, but see, it's weird. I don't think they grew up with anything stable. But you know what's weird? I feel like in your when you're in a relationship, it should be like this person is your priority in a sense, but it shouldn't be all about them and i feel like there's people out there that are like oh no it should be it's all about them you're my wow. first priority That's toxic so what is it where do you think it goes wrong when when they think that when they think that they should be your first priority or when they think that you should only give them your attention this is the girl or a boyfriend this is girlfriend boyfriend this wait is see, i'm confused okay again? all right this is the girlfriend or boyfriend right <laughs> this is the homies got it if a girlfriend or boyfriend <laughs> says something like i should be your only priority then I would probably... Is that toxic? Leave. I would not be a part of that. Would you would not? Yeah. You think that That's whenever awful. you're in like a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship... Yeah. Um, you th- I, well, yeah, it's really okay, confusing dude, to it's, say. It's, it's, it's simple as this. It's, yeah, so, you're, you're making it overcomplicated. you have created a bond for over how exactly. many years? If someone tells me to stop that bond, I will say, you're fucking insane. Okay, I agree. Like, it is that simple. Like, that. that's a bond not just, hey, bro, I see every once in a while. It's a bond that like... I love this dude. Like, I'm going to put you before a lot of other people as well. But I just, I find it so weird that, like, that conversation literally comes up with so many relationships with, like, the girl. It's because in the moment, like, you don't realize it. What do you mean? Like, the two people, like, haven't you seen those couples who start dating and just, like, disappear? <coughs> <laughs> no, I know what you mean, like, socially. Like, they yeah. don't go to events or anything like oh, that. Sh- Cause, oh, sh- yeah. wait. Oh. And he's disappeared already. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like that scared me. I thought that was a ghost. <laughs> I thought you saw a ghost. I no. thought something moved. <laughs> I thought Cynthia's hair got lifted, bro. <laughs> did you did his eyebrows did his eyebrows get hella raised? Was he like, oh shit? My heart's racing. I literally <laughs> thought her hair got like ra- like. You want to go in the attic with me? No, I want to go to the attic. This house yeah. is haunted. But hold up, hold up. Okay, but um, you're saying that in those relationships, that's always why someone will like disappear i've known i've no, known she didn't explain herself yet Go she ahead, just <laughs> is that what you're trying to say she just said have you guys noticed those couples uh that disappear and yeah, i think they exactly. both had they were both missing like a stable relationship with someone a parent a sip like something and then when they have that they're like oh i don't want to ruin this i don't want to risk yeah, losing this like let's just hear. my bad I'm, i didn't mean to no you. i'm done okay. it's okay you, wait, wait. you always did you do have it. more to say yeah i did that's why i felt oh. i had to apologize to make sure you finished <laughs> you hit my pimple on my back asshole I would love to hear their reasoning for that because for dipping. Yeah, on because like honestly, like okay, no, no, like homie's really gonna get that fucking butthurt about it. Like I'm not gonna come cry to you if you dip out. I'm just gonna be like, well, he's gone. Like that happened. But it's yeah. like realistically, if I was able to sit down, I'd be like, so we've been homies for this long, and it's that easy for you to dip out. Like yeah. on on a real, like I wouldn't even be like, hey, I'm not gonna cry or some shit. But like that's pretty crazy that you can. Just fucking dip. That's like, why, but that's why I think it's very contradictory to what you were saying, Austin. Because there are homies that do have stable relationships with like their friends. They do, and then they find a girlfriend, mm, and they, they are, still dip. No, you know what? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, kind of, uh, yeah, P.O.P. Go ahead, go ahead. It's hmm? the P.O.P. Okay, agreed. But yeah. then, but but I feel because you know how earlier you said it's because they've never had a stable relationship, and now they do. I, I, Did I was, you mean it as in like boyfriend girlfriend relationship? No, like they just never had. Like I mean, sh- every day, like Someone in their life. I. 
come home and I know that I could kick it with baby. Okay. And I like, I, like, I don't have to like try to do anything. It's nice. And we oh. hang out a lot. And okay. I feel like people, oh, fuck, I don't know anymore, man. So you're saying <laughs> easy to kick it with your girl. You don't have to, sorry if I hit your back pimple again. Easy to kick it with your girl. Uh, and you're just going on with that. It popped. Okay. <laughs> my back pimple. <laughs> Bleeding on my shirt now. Fucking it's the third time this okay, week. Sometimes it's TMI. <laughs> <laughs> all the time, it's okay, all the hey, time. okay. So give me a reason. You don't want to know. <laughs> give me a reason. Okay, let's. Wait, wait. Okay, my hold on. Wait, Austin. I kind of feel you on that because, like, wait, fill him on what? Like, come, the pimple. Just <laughs> oh, wait, fill him on what? Yeah, okay, we're gonna do an argument. This is a speech and debate right now. I have arguments. You get two minutes. What? Go ahead. Just say Go what's ahead. on your mind. No, like. No, yeah. I'm mad now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, no, I'm just adding on to like what you say. Yeah. Like coming home to just like relax with somebody. Like, because in my last relationship, it was kind of like that. It was like kind of co- toxic. How, but when, when did it get toxic? Like when he just wanted you to himself? Like he didn't want you seeing nobody else or like. Yeah, like I would just like go to school on the weekdays and then drive to his house and then spend like the whole weekend there. Like three, four days. Yeah, me and my girl are huge about like, hey, go hang out with your friends. Like tonight, she's like, go hang out with your friends. And like last night, I was like, go Austin fucking said. hang out with your friends. But I'm just, I'm really and confused. Then, I'm really confused on what you guys are saying. Cause I'm, I'm confused. Are you saying that that's why people leave their homies? No, we feel they get comfortable that? in the fact that she, if she wants to go out, she's like, so far we built up that relationship. Like if she wants to not hang out that one night, cause we hang out five nights a week, mm-hmm. it's fine. I'm like, yeah, go do that. Cause you got to do that. Like we both okay, understand the you're saying Because you have, you, you have to, I think it's you a hell, to I'm, see her five nights. It's okay to go hang out. Is that what you're telling me? Because some people can't do that, though. Yeah. Yeah, and I think early on in the relationship, you need to start implementing that. Like, you need to understand, like... <sighs> like I'm saying, everyone's just different in their own way. Yeah. Like, for example, for you, you love having her at your house. It is like... It's almost like... It's, it's almost... It's someone you love always by your side, and you're really comfortable with her. Right? Did I get that wrong? <laughs> you got it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I understand that, but it's like... Let's say, okay, well, let's okay, say, hang me, on. Him are be- me and him are best friends, right? I've known this guy for a while. I hang out with my girl all the time. Are you, it's like, are you ever going to miss hanging out with this man? Because I have seen people disappear, as in yeah. I see them once every month and a half, maybe. And it's like, we, we used to hang out all the time, and yeah. we were having a great fucking time. Yeah. Like, P.O.P. It's easy. What the hell have you guys ever had a What's toxic power, 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 of power of the pussy? Power of the pussy. Power of the pussy. Yeah. Power of the, power like of the pussy. guys in high school oh, will get fucking like whipped. To the, yeah, yeah. High like, school makes sense. High school makes sense because high yeah. school you don't know. We're what the just fuck as you're young, doing, so you're like that's boarding. why I'm having issues uh, with this. You kind of want that in high school. High school is totally cool. I'm not talking about high school. People will disagree with you and say no. When you're out of high school is when you start settling down and all that. That's what people. I've heard people literally give that excuse. Now here's my question then. Is your girl or boyfriend supposed to be your number one priority, or should they, or should your girl and your homies be at that same exact level? Ooh, that's that's a tough one. That is my question. I've never been in a relationship, so I, I can't tell you. I don't think it's like. I see. When I think of like number one priority, I think, hey, you're on a cliff and you're on a cliff. I have to save one of you. That's like honestly what I think. Yeah, of. that's what I think. Sometimes and I too. can't. I'm not gonna say like I'm not gonna save my girlfriend, but I'm not gonna be like let my let my homie. Yeah, down. like <laughs> yeah. I I just think I think it's really like. Like balance? You think it's just it's all balance? No, see, yeah, I don't, I don't want to say like, when I think of like a priority, and I say like, if I went to you and I'm like, and we had a conversation, and I'm telling you, you're my second priority, that's just so fucked up. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna let. I'm, I'm just gonna let you know, I would do as much for you as I would do for my girl. You know, that, yeah. that's, that's all I can. Yeah, say. Agreed. I would never, I'm never putting someone up over like any. In my opinion, I think that I'm my number one priority. I think that your girl and your homies should be on that same level of uh, prior- being like, prioritized. And I feel yeah. like some people take that wrong. Like That means you're yeah, going to hang out with your homies the same dude, amount as you're going to hang dude, out with your girl. That's not what so, that means. So like, I've had conversations with girls where they're like, they're like, you're dating me, blah, blah, blah. Dating me leads to marriage. When you're married, your wife is now your number one priority. And I'm like, okay. Like it kind of made sense. It, no, it makes yeah, sense where it's like, sense. okay, yes, y'all spending all this time together, y'all living together, blah blah. But does that mean that you can put all of your homies to the like aside, throw them all away, be like, I don't care what you guys got going on. She wants me at home watching a fucking movie. Uh, she wants this or that. And it's then it's like, like it's knowing your priorities. Yeah. Okay, that's but that's the, that's the thing. It's no, like, like so like. We can't tell you exactly what the formula is. Yeah. It's just how your Depending relationship's Depending on the situation. Built. Like, yeah, like... If you're, if you're going in the relationship knowing that she's needy with attention, like, yo, I'm going to see you on, like, Friday night <laughs> and maybe Saturday night. Yeah. And that's that. 
And well, I mean, no, I mean, I wouldn't take it to that. To that, I'd try. Oh. It just depends well, on the sorry. fucking. It just, yeah, it depends on the. But I understand because, uh, like, when people say that, uh, I'm always gonna be like, "Of course, my girlfriend's my number one priority." Exactly. Like, I'm not. But then, like, if someone asks me a question, like, "Okay, well, if Nick needs help and you're like your girlfriend's number one priority, and you guys are out at dinner, let's say you're really," I'm like, yeah. "Fuck, I'm going to help him out. Like, I will help." Like, and it's really weird. It's like, I don't really think of it as someone's above another person. It's just kind of like I will do as much for you. Cause I will do for her. It's like, yeah. You okay. Guys are In a bad circumstance. Oh yeah, exactly. I would it's do. like, I would give you. <laughs> Where like, are you going with the, yeah. you start these thoughts, bro. Really, you start these really, thoughts and you don't finish them. He really them. wants yeah. to say, I would be with Bailey 100% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's like, I don't know what these fucking If I was out with, if I was out with you guys and she needed something, I'd be like, all right, I got to go. Agreed. Exactly. If I was out with her exactly. and you guys need something, I'd be like, hey, I got to go. Some people don't under fucking like, understand that. And that's really like. Yeah. Some people are like, some people are like, I already, I already told my girl that I'm going to do this with her. And let's say my boys need something from me or anything like that. They're like, I can't. I'm and with her. see, like, I also, I'll, I will think of priorities. Like, you're like, hey, dude, we're going over, like, video ideas. And I'm out with her. I'm not, see, that is not my priority, my first priority. Yeah. I'm with her. But it's like, it yeah. makes, like, like, dude, something happened with my mom. Or not even as serious as that. Or, like, I really need your help. I'm be like, okay, well, I'm going to help him out. Because right now in this situation, I can't help him out. Yeah. It's really serious. But, like, if you're like, like, if I call you, hey, can you play fucking Xbox with us tonight? That's not a priority. Yeah. Take what I was originally asking, like the homie oriented. In your opinion, though, you wouldn't find that. Would you even pay attention to that, really? If you notice that a guy, like I said, like in my scenario, would you even pay attention to that? Like, like before we're dating. Yeah. Like, would you say anything like that? Like he's home. Like to your girls, would you be like, oh, he's homie oriented? No. Um, Honestly, that's like a good thing. If he's homie oriented, that's what I thought too. I felt like if you're homie oriented, because you're also super social, Cynthia. I know. Like if you're super secluded. You yeah, I want your boyfriend to not be super like. You know what? I wanted to say this. I feel like people who are like prioritizing or whatever are saying you need to just spend time with me. I don't know if that's insecurity or like jealousy. You guys get what I'm it's saying? Both. You think it's both? You think it's them being insecure and jealous? I think at the more same time? insecure. More insecure. Yeah. yeah. That what is it more like? Oh, I feel. What's that insecurity going on though? That I feel like I'm not good enough for him, so he hangs for out with his homies. Like my time, yeah, my, my his time spent with me isn't as good as his or time spent like, with the boys. No, you're just insecure in yourself, so like you don't have trust in your girl. I uh, see, but sometimes I feel like you can really love a person as much as you just want to fucking see them. And oh, yeah, oh but I'll they can't see anybody else. Is that weird? Oh, never mind. Fucking hope. This yeah, is that's beer. what I'm. That's what I'm. Hold up. I can finish my sentences. Okay, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a quick intermission. Okay. Quick intermission. Time out. Go. Anyways, guys, uh, sorry for that quick intermission. We're back now. Kyle just joined us into the party. Kyle, we were talking about being homie oriented. And like, I remember girls telling me before where like they don't like someone who or a guy that's homie oriented. You know what homie oriented means, right? No. It basically means you're like always with the dudes. Like you, you put your homies over your girl, right? Or is that not it? No, no, no. It's just, just it's just, it just means that you prioritize your guys. I don't think. Oh, it yeah. Means. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, okay. Would you call me homie oriented? Yeah. Okay. Do you know girls that would say that that's a bad thing? No. You've never met a girl who said like, that's a bad thing? No. Okay. We were talking about like, there's been some girls that have told me like, oh, I wouldn't get with you because you're homie oriented. You get I what I'm saying? Date you, not like date you. Yeah. Yeah. Like date you. Wait, no you girl. Have? Yeah. They've said like, they've said like, I've I wouldn't date you. Yeah, you were there. They, they said they it. Said, they, they said, said in the podcast. That. They See, were like, they were. They told me they were like, I would not date you. Be, I, they said I would have issues with you. I'll tell you right because now because you're homie oriented. It, it if you had a girl, you wouldn't be homie oriented. I already know you wouldn't be. No, I don't think so either. Yeah, I don't think so. I know. Either. I think right yeah, now because you don't got a girl, yeah. they're, exactly. they're scared because they you're see how social you are. You talk to. I mean, like, yeah. you know, you're a very social person. You really okay. Like my leg. I think you might be considered a. Someone called me a flirt. Someone called they girls called me a flirt. Yeah. Bailey you told me that that all of her friends said I was a flirt, and I was like, "Fuck, really?" Do you think? Do you think we're flirty, so or do you think? Yeah, we're see, friendly? and so is he. So is Nick. It's like I yeah. don't like. It's a, I don't want to. I don't know. I don't think I'm a flirt. I don't know. But like, if you um, like, for example, if I think in your case, I think when you talk to somebody, you just don't want to be fucking awkward. Yeah. You just like to yeah. like, especially you like to spark yeah, up the, the situation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then people think of that like, oh, they call me an asshole, or they like me because I try to spark up a situation with either a dark humor joke or. Kyle, hey, got some dark hey, <laughs> we're on set. Anyways, God. so just to wrap this up real quick. Insensitive. Um, I, in my personal opinion, I don't think it's a bad thing to be homie oriented. I think that if you're homie oriented, it kind of means that you kind of care about like your family. I feel like it kind of means that it should show, in my opinion, it should show that you know how to prioritize like people around you that mean a lot to you. You get what I'm saying? I feel like that's kind of what homie oriented means. And if you're a girl that like, Thinks that be a guy being homie oriented is bad. I feel like, like we said, I feel like that's more like insecure. 
and like jealous. You don't, you don't really know it's a problem until you're in the relationship. Okay. And like some people though, I know people can take homie oriented like like basically the way you're saying and then just but it's yeah. just their dogs only like Yeah, I feel time. like I feel like being homie oriented when you're in a relationship, then I feel like yeah, you should probably start prioritizing uh your girl just as much as you're prioritizing your guys. But I, like I said, if you're single and people are calling you homie, homie oriented or anything like that, I don't think that should be a problem. I think that's wrong on their part. For yeah. Like even like saying, oh, I don't, I don't think I like him because he hangs out with his friends too much. Like, who yeah, the like fuck he wouldn't be able to, like, he wouldn't be able to give my like that amount I'd of time. I prefer if a girl yeah. said that before because imagine you get into a relationship and you're halfway there. Yeah, but then you're in a relationship. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> she's <laughs> crying. She's like, you're homie oriented. <laughs> Says that exact word, bro. I'd be like, oh fuck, she's smart. We're saying <laughs> big, <laughs> we're saying big words today. <laughs> your podcast <laughs> oh shit my future wife you're watching this i will change i promise you that <laughs> he's gonna anyways be good, he's gonna be a good man anyways though next question of the night most embarrassing slash funny moment that you've had in junior high i'd like to go first and it's not even about me it's oh. about kyle and cynthia i like to bring up a specific we scenario. talked about this right? no, no, no 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 we okay there's two the one you're thinking of is the I dance know. right is that halloween oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's in the soulsby's class it's yeah, about Mrs. Solsby. No, no, no. I have another one. No, you know. <laughs> I do. You so remember? The, <laughs> no, shut the fuck up. Wait, okay. So, do you remember when we were at my yes. house on the trampoline? No. Can I bring it up? Can I bring it up? Can I bring it up? Can I bring yeah. it up? Wait. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay. Kyle's okay. okay. <laughs> we all have basic stories. That was so, a wild so man. So, we were in seventh grade. We had to be in seventh grade, right? And it was eighth grade. Nah, dude. Was this one that broke the trampoline? No, 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 no. You broke my trampoline? Yeah, I broke your trampoline. Mark also yeah. broke the same trampoline. Yeah. Apparently. I did a front flip. I remember. I remember. I watched it break. Out. Was it the same day? What the fuck was he doing? Because that was David's trampoline? 14th birthday. Nah, it was you, me, and Julian at my house just kicking it. It was just like And three. Luke, I think. No, no, no. It was you, me, and Julian just kicking oh, it shit, on, on, the, on the fucking fuck. trampoline. Check oh, the Snapchat memory. Shit, but no, I remember we were on the trampoline, right? And we're kicking it, blah, blah. We in eighth grade. We a bunch of little fucks. <laughs> and I don't even know... I think so. Julian had his phone out, right? And he had Snapchat open. And I think Julian was like, Julian was like, Julian says no, some shit. No. <laughs> Julian yeah. says some shit like, yeah. hey, Kyle, he, he hit the record button, right? He's like, hey, Kyle, you think Cynthia has a fat ass? He's got record. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. He's, got, hold on, hold on. He's got the record. He's hit record. He's hit record, right? And Kyle goes, <laughs> Okay, this is the funny thing. You saw the camera pointed. At, I don't even think he was no. pointing it at you, huh? No. So he points it down. It's so just, this is audio. This is audio. This is audio. He, he, yeah, yeah. So he goes. So he goes. So he goes. And Kyle goes. Yeah, she has a fat <laughs> ass. And Julie goes. Oh, and, goes the camera, <laughs> and then Kyle goes. Oh no! And Julie quickly goes to the send and then sends it to everybody. And he's like, it was an accident. <laughs> You remember that, bro? He goes, oh, he goes bro, bro. Bro. he's like, he's like, I love my hand slip. He's I like, love my hand slip. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. His send. <laughs> and I'm over here like, this motherfucker's lying. He clicked everyone's so, profile. Can we get the aftermath now? Yeah. So what happened after that? What happened after you received that video and all that? Did you even think of it as anything? Did you take it as a compliment? Come to the mic. Honestly, Come to the mic. I don't. I don't remember it like that. Would you? It was like super out of context. So I honestly didn't have any clue what you're talking. How about. was the video that says? That's a fucking. Yeah, lie. Cynthia's no, a it, it went down how I said it, right? No, that's not what you said. Cynthia's was, like, oh I didn't say God. anything. Julian said some shit like, "Hey, you think she's got a fat ass?" And you were like, "You were like, oh yeah, she's got a fat See, fat Nick, fat. Nick goes crazy on stories sometimes. <laughs> Tell, I swear, you go crazy happened? on stories sometimes. I thought, I thought that's what happened. I thought that's what happened too. Shit, what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck, man. I was like, is there more to this? Wait, but you remember that happening, like that scenario happening, right? I do, yeah. Yeah. So, do you didn't think of anything afterwards, or you don't remember? No, it was like <laughs> I'm it looking was at you. About <laughs> <the dance. laughs> I was gonna say, nah. I'm, I'm embarrassed. It was super. Awesome. It was super simple and super like out of context. Like you said, like he was just catching them out, like surprised. No, dude, it's the one we always talk about. What? Did, did, when you said I had a fat ass. What? You said that Austin had a fat ass? Wow. I remember that. Yeah. What? Yeah. When, when did I say that? You said you I had BDE. Were, you were I didn't know what super, that meant super time. fucking drunk. And you're like, and you just Dude, you like took Austin your middle down. finger and you're like, yeah. And then you're like, I'm going to eat your ass. Dude, this was <laughs> literally <laughs> the night that, this was the night that we're going to take you home. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You don't remember that? You're Are like, you I'm serious? <laughs> You were like, I want to You groped him? Like, no. She groped you? This was the night we had to take you home, Cynthia. This is why it's been so weird when I see you. Yeah. It's been, shut it's the been, fuck up. You put awkward. your middle I've finger off of these podcasts. Really Cynthia, up. you don't remember a lot from that night. I wouldn't be surprised if you groped him. I definitely. You bit not. his ass. Oh, and sister. Oh, my God. 
Was I, that I her? Know. Yeah. I thought that was fucking mean? Samantha. Yeah, it was locked on. I, like her jaws oh are locked. Oh my god. That's why you had the bite mark the next morning. The you scar? asked me. Yeah, the you scar? asked me who left. Cynthia, you really don't remember this? I literally did not do that. I shaved my ass. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What? Oh, you shaved your a smiley face on your. No, that was your. That was your shin. Yeah. Oh, there was a picture of me in Vegas where I'm naked and someone took a picture of me. And I was like facing the Red Rocks and like. When the fuck were you in Vegas? This was like two years. This was senior summer. You but went to Vegas I, I, at, as a senior in high school? I was, I, dude, I had the room to myself and I was with that one girl and we had the room in Vegas and it was so Oh, much but the, I look back at the picture and the tattoo is not there. So I want to retake the picture with the tattoo on my ass of like, can I be there naked? naked? Huh? Can I be there naked in the background? What's the tattoo on your ass? He has a tattoo it's, on his it's, ass. It's your hand just groping my cheek. It's a Cynthia Choi's <laughs> hand on it. She's so bad. <laughs> Even has your ring on it. <laughs> and it has a phone with Kyle's face. And then <laughs> Sin's got a fat ass. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> okay, but I think that has to be no, like. No, okay. It was like, let me tell you, it was like something about the, the dance. And then Kyle was like, <gasps> yeah, I'm going to touch your butt. No! Oh, fuck! You <laughs> said that! Oh, it was way worse than I remember! Wait, you said you, you were said gonna I touch her to butt? You said I want to or I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. To her? No, 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 no. On the video, on the video recording, Julian, Julian pulled up something. I'm going and to. I remember Kyle was like, <laughs> Kyle was like, either he said I want to, or he was like, I'm gonna touch her ass. Okay. <laughs> and, and then Julian went, oh, and he fucking clicked everyone's profile and hit send. And he was like, it was an accident. Now imagine being Kyle though in eighth grade. You were Be so embarrassed. Being, on, huh? being on Fox no, Sports but, West. Yeah, I was about to say like, that. This motherfucker had clout in junior high. So he's like, yeah, I'm a fucking touch. No, that's that not butt. how it was. Bro, but think about the fucking cockiness he had, bro. You were the shit. Kyle, bro. you could have walked had, either way, man. You could have walked. I'm embarrassed. Bro, but if you put if it anyone off, Nick knew I was not cocky or like confident at all because he knew how to brought you down every you know day of your life. <laughs> wait okay yeah, yeah. No, no, he, knew I, he knew I was not confident enough to go in no matter who I don't give a fuck who, who it is I'm gonna go out there I'm gonna smack their ass I was like you're just fucking around wait was this at the dance no we were fucking around at his house we were on the trampoline it was me it was me I have and a Julian. story Dude, we, wait hold on we can get to that but we, uh, we had the most sexual talks on that trampoline, bro. And it deals bro. with the same woman that I'm standing across from. Cynthia? Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, fuck! <laughs> Cynthia, I want so you to good. know, <laughs> apparently not only my man Kyle was, but Nick was hey, hey, in up. love with you in seventh grade. Nick <laughs> yeah. was in love with you. Wait, did you know me in seventh grade like that? Uh, I don't know why, I think but I did. It was I such did, a small school, bro. You no, know, it was really random. We were like we were like homies every on. It's like during soccer yeah. season, we were homies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. agreed. And... Um, you invited everyone over for, uh, I think it was the last day of school. I think it was something like that. <gasps> oh, I remember this. So, so I let, me tell you, let me tell you. He invited everybody over. No, for the last seventh day of grade was at Avani's. Oh, no, that was eighth so grade. So I don't know if it was this exact day, but what, everyone was there. You were there as well. And you were the last person to leave Nick's house, apparently. I don't yeah. know. Okay. Yeah. And the next day, yes. Nick comes. We were in my garage. Nick, yep, okay, perfect. You remember? Yeah, we Nick, were in my garage. Nick comes to practice the next day, right? And we're just we're just training. And bro, this dude comes up to me in the line behind me. He's like, "You'll never, dude." Like, I'm. So, he's like, he's like stumbling his words, and he's like, "Dude, yesterday, like, he's like, I know you left, and there's like cold people there. I, I remember this so vividly. He's like, and everyone dipped out, or he's like, everyone left, and it was just me and Cynthia in my garage. And he goes, he goes. I wanted to kiss her so <laughs> So hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So we were in my garage, bro, and I don't know if you remember this, but I was sweating like a motherfucker. Cause it was the thought kept passing on my head like do I lean in? Do I not lean in? Like that. I swear. How I, close were y'all? How close nah, were y'all? No, we were like Wait, sitting in the now? Seventh grade? I don't think so. Please say yes. Hey, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. There's a lot of motherfuckers that had a crush on Nick, though, in seventh grade or eighth grade, whatever the fucking Halloween dance was or whatever that shit was. Okay. And we're going to get to the Halloween dance, too. But anyways, because you guys. But anyways, um, <laughs> did you have a crush on me? I think at one point I did. Oh. Yeah, about, you gotta, you gotta, you Wait, I want to know about the hey, garage, all this um, Nintia shippers out there. Is that word? Nintia? They, a lot of people are oh, really rooting for you guys. I'm not gonna lie. Please keep it up. The dream is real. <laughs> I'm just gonna back it up a quick though. Um, I did too many. But not. Yeah, I remember know. that. I remember that. Yeah, I was sweating like a motherfucker oh. um, that <laughs> night. That wasn't my most embarrassing moment, but that shit had me dead when he solid. snapped you saying that you want to touch your butt. That's a trip. Yeah, that was that was. I didn't even trip about it though. <laughs> you yeah, didn't. I you. I think you freaked out for like ten seconds. Yeah. And then you were kind of like. Just like eh. 
There's nothing. And then he's like, nothing. hey, I'm on TV. There's nothing to do now, baseball. huh? Yeah, I think there I remember like, you saying, like, there's nothing <laughs> I can do now. Yeah. <laughs> it's out there. Athletes. Look, I'm telling you, you could have walked either way. You could have walked like, yeah, I said that. I'm on national TV for baseball. Or you could have been like, I'm terrified. I have no confidence. <laughs> no, I didn't say anything. I just didn't even trip about it after. <laughs> hey, so you were you were that cocky <laughs> son of a bitch who played baseball. <laughs> oh hey, Kyle. I'm very close to the mic when you talk just heads up. Um, God, I'd be cocky as fuck about you, bro. Dude, I, remember I had a 0. 0.5 second commercial. I had a biggest okay. dick. The best guy compliment I ever got was from a girl that we, after she, um, after I saw her, cause I came, I missed the first days of school cause of that tournament. And then I got to go back and then she's like, Hey, I watched you play on TV. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was so <laughs> as soon as she said that he turns around and he's like, <laughs> 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 I was like Oh no. man dude sometimes when you think back at how much power you could have had hilarious. Bro you could have ran shit up bro and, and you didn't Well you still had uh Emma as a girlfriend in sixth grade She's you still held my hands girlfriend. She's still yeah well, you got to talk to Matt about that <laughs> one, bro. <laughs> Hold on. I've, I've never broken up with her. Do you, do you have a specific moment, dog, that was super embarrassing in junior high? Just fucking answer? girls, actually, now that I look back at it. Just girls, right? Yeah. Oh, well, all of my embarrassing moments have come from girls. I have a story about Austin Hendry and a famous girl that we all joke around about. Oh, um, shit. We'll call her uh, Samantha. That's Samantha. too close. No, we'll it's fine. No, it's not. Samantha. It's only now you made it too close. Yeah. <laughs> fine. Reggie? <laughs> Elliot. <laughs> Henry. Henrietta. Cynthia. Make it Cynthia. Right, Cynthia. 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 So basically, hey, I Austin, need to I need to have time to speak in this call. Like, Austin, okay. right. I need Austin to, I need to, was like, back had a up. crush on a girl that already had a boyfriend that was a pretty close friend of ours, and basically in our circle. he would he would is this an, I'm sorry this is another Austin white douchebag moment. Okay. Right? This, okay. This is I don't like that word. <laughs> I'm I sorry, like white, white guy moment guy. or just white guy? White guy. No, this was just a seventh grade sim Dude, story, bro. Seventh grade. Basically, basically we'll, we'll speed it up. A uh, man uh, liked the girl, but he never said he did, and he would just be a little flirty with her, but never like she had a boyfriend. Uh-huh. And this dude called me. Little called me. He was at the him. YMCA. All right, he called me out of nowhere. I went there with my friend um, RJ, and we went to the YMCA. And this dude, uh, the girl had just recently left the YMCA, and he was there with her. And he's like, "I just made out with her, bro." When she had a boyfriend. Yeah, and a pretty close friend of ours. And he's just like, "I made out with her, bro." And he's like, he's like, it's like that typical, I fucked up, I'm in love, seventh grade, where he's just like, oh, I was like, simping, bro. I, fucked, I mean, I would, but I love her, like you know. Like, oh, you did not that, say that. that. You did not say that. Did you yeah, say that? You, did you, you say that word for word? Don't lie to me. Her. You told me you loved. Her. I probably did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I won't. I won't cap. I probably did. He decided that it wasn't the best idea, and he decided to stop talking to her, blocked her on everything, and we were at we were at fucking n- nutrition, and we're down at the at the bottom of the place. Or the bottom, like where the grass field is, uh-huh. and he's texting on his phone, and I'm like, "Who are you texting, bro?" And it's uh, who? What do we call her? S- Henrietta. Some Henrietta, <laughs> and I'm like, "What the fuck are you texting her through? If you blocked her on everything, this motherfucker's <laughs> on Google Docs." <laughs> You are not using <laughs> Google Docs. You are not. Tell him that's cap. Tell me that's cap right fucking I was now. In, I was in art class, Mr. Beaver. No, Beavers. let me tell you something. I was in Mr. Mr. Beaver's Beaver. class, and I see a fucking notification, and she's like, we need to talk. Or on something Google like that. Docs. Yes. <laughs> Google yeah. Docs. Bro. And, okay, listen. She Bro. had. She was in a relationship. During her relationship, she would say the gnarliest shit to me that was, like, feeding me on. And I'm young. I'm horny. I want to fucking smack and some. So you were ta- smack some lip. And then what was really funny was that on Google Docs you could see like her little green letter. Like and the you live saw his. chat. You're so gross. And so it's like he wasn't me, bro. He's it texting. Like three seconds him. later, like she texts. Oh, it was like so deleting, fucking deleting funny. what you say yeah, and then yeah. t- texting what they want to say. Yeah, and that's it was like, cute. It was like I was huge, down bad. That's it was like cute. A that's cute. Doc it was so much fun though, bro. That's cute. Yeah, it was fun, bro, because we would ride our bikes to FSC every weekend, bro. It was a good time, and it was like the fucking hot topic, bro. It was super fucked up. Okay. So we hold 12. up. So we did just have a sub in, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Cynthia Choi did we just call sub him out. Mullet Mark Shavoni. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you looking at that? Oh, yeah. When you talk though, just make sure you like right up into the mic All like right. this, guys. Okay. It? So we're talking. I have, I have a story already for you, bro. And I don't know if you're going to tell it. It's we talk about most embarrassing stories. Right junior now. high. Junior high. We talk about most embarrassing stories either for us or like that we've witnessed from each other. Okay. okay. So we're talking about junior high specifically. So go ahead. Can I tell the story? 
Sure. Okay. <laughs> it so <happened>. basically, <laughs> my man Mark. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. My man Mark basically uh, was a seventh grader and pulled an eighth grader, which was the baddest, the baddest eighth grader. I like say, the when most we were beautiful younger, eighth grader. She, very beautiful eighth grader <laughs> when we were younger. She was, she was yeah. yeah, insane, yeah. bro. At, at that <laughs> age. <laughs> I was so hyped to yeah. be like, to be like as your friend too. Bro, you don't understand <laughs> to be in the he circle. He bring the eighth graders over to us, and I was like, "This is different." Like, because Mark, Mark, of course, we Mark are would fucking know. different now. We're a different fucking breed, a so, different animal, so, and the same beast. <laughs> so basically, this girl. No. This girl, uh, how it worked in our junior high was the classrooms were next to each other, but they just had an opening, like, to each different classroom. No door. And no door. Like, so basically, you could see across the other classroom. So we're, Mark's on the back, back desk, and he can see across, and it's just the other girl. Uh. And they would always look at each other, and one day, I think her friend came up to Mark and was like, hey, she really likes you. She thinks you're cute. You should ask her out. And Mark... <laughs> Yo, I love when the friends Mark, ask you out. Mark, dude, Mark, you, I remember Mark just like, I, I, like. <laughs> I did not know what to think. Because before, before, before that, I had no, like, experience with girls at all. Yeah, at all. dude, no, no, yeah, we, so, we all know that. So I was, I, I was, I was fucking intimidated. Like, that, bro. I was so, scared, bro. I was so, definitely scared. So the front of parks is where everything goes down. The yeah, asking sir. out, the drama, everything. And Mark comes out ready as ever. I'm right behind him. And this girl is standing right there. She's waiting for Mark. Mark goes up to her and he goes, do you want to go out? And she goes, yeah. And he goes, bro, <laughs> bro. <laughs> No, bro, no. Not, not only that, that was amazing. Every time, every I time I high. saw this dude, hold on, hold on. Every time I saw you with her too, bro, whenever you said hi or bye, hey, all right, I'll catch you later. <laughs> she going for a hug too. She going, <laughs> yeah. Bro, okay. what did you, what, what did you expect? Get up in there. What, what do you mean? What you no, Mark, you were still a champ in my eyes, yeah, bro. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you know why? You still had other girls like and, you. Uh, Mark was clapping hands at school, but he was clapping <laughs> cheeks back at home, bro. He exactly. was just not yet. Yeah, that's that's, that's all it was. Did you ever kiss her? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. Just, no. Just the hand no, action. No, no, no. Just best, all, best high part, fives. Best part Dude. is like we all played soccer, and that was like the thing to do at uh, lunch or whatever, and she would come over to Mark because all the couples yeah. would just sit on the, the sit on like the on the curb yeah. yeah on the curb yep. and she she grabbed Mark <laughs> I remember Mark said I don't want to fucking play soccer bro <laughs> she grabs him they go to the curb and she's like <laughs> dude she's like hinting at this man you know to so like, like make a move hold a hand oh, I got you, got you, and got so she got just you. goes like she just like like uh put her hand out or whatever <laughs> and like put your like, hand okay, out so I was like, and Mark, <laughs> Mark goes <laughs> 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 Dude, dude, that was that was enough for me though. Like, I didn't I didn't want anything though. Hey, I didn't you want were, anything. You were probably so though. hard right there, weren't you? I, 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 I give your hand. What the oh. <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I no, was that, no, I was hey, that dude, like I'm saying, movie. you're still a fucking nah. champ in my eyes because the relationship <laughs> went on for a month, I swear. Like, oh, wait for a minute. It's like it one eighth of minute. the school year, bro. The world, the world, which was junior high, looked at you as one of the you most were a champ. powerful seventh graders. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Literally hanging out with you. Because, bro, it's one thing to pull an eighth grader, it's another thing to pull, like, one of the most beautiful. Hey, I pulled an eighth grader. I forgot her name. She was your stepsister. No, oh my no, 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 no. She was your fucking sister, no. bro. No, that's not. That's not. Not that one. <laughs> that's the one. Hey, come on. Don't we don't talk about. It. Yeah, it was. It was seventh grade summer. <laughs> it was sixth grade summer going into seventh grade. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it was the The court said we can't talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> I lost the court case. Okay, no, I don't really have any my embarrassing story. Do you know, uh, dude? I was pretty just embarrassing the way I was in junior high, dude. I have a really embarrassed. I didn't date no girl. I didn't yeah, I was gonna to ask. Girl. I had one. I had one relationship in eighth grade. Have you guys ever had like a sexual? <laughs> sexual. Why is it gotta be sexual, man? <laughs> I was not sexual in eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Wait. And he took your girl as well. This Which one? Dude. dude. You never broke yes. Oh, oh I, you're still that dating was, her that too. That was a good one. 
I hate you. Dude, life was just going on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Mark didn't even you want had it. the moral hey, power yeah, back. Mark, even Mark didn't even I fucking didn't even want, want it, bro. Yeah, you, I didn't even you, want yeah, it. Yeah, it was definitely pressure just like telling him. Yeah. yeah. Because Mark yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Mark didn't even fucking want it, bro. <laughs> no. Mark just wanted to play soccer. <laughs> you know, I remember one specific <laughs> moment because I was friends with her. Uh, I was just friends with her yeah. in class. And that was how she knew Mark, how uh-huh. she thought Mark was cute, blah, blah, blah. Mark back at it again, asked the girl out, just like, didn't really like talk to her. Yeah. I would I would literally go over to her because she's my friend. And he would come. They would talk. I was sick for like three days. And I come back and Mark's like, I never talked to her again. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, when you're not here, I don't even see her. And, and so he's like, and he's like, well, and they never talked. And he's just like, well, I don't know if we broke up or what happened. Do you I remember? I hate you, man. I tried really hard with her too. <laughs> I tried really fucking hard. I didn't even try, bro. I didn't know what was going <laughs> on, dude. Dude, I still, dude, you were you're a king, man. I remember you coming up to Mark one day during lunch, and I don't know why I remember this. I was like, hey, you still dating Giselle? And he's like, I don't even fucking know what's <laughs> going on, to be honest. Mark, he was was all, the, he was like, Mark was the biggest savage that ever rolled. It just happened too fast. And then what was, fu- <laughs> what was too funny, fast. too, like when I asked him fast. that, she, she came forward. over to us. Yeah. And oh, she was, right, when, yeah. right when you asked him that. Right when I asked him, and then he was like, oh, shit, oh, shit. He's like, he's like I gotta go. I gotta <laughs> go. <laughs> fucking walked away. <laughs> nah, but we were, that's, we were all like that with girls in like junior high or elementary school, right? You never talked to the I girls that you asked out, right? I only talked to one <laughs> for like a week no. after I took her. No, you didn't take her from me. You well, took her in got, summer. She got with you. you got in the too? She got no. with you. What? She told me she liked me. Oh, that's and getting I said, with that you? Was, that was <laughs> and I said summer. I wanted to kiss her and she said she wanted to kiss me too. Wait, it never happened. No, but thank God she said it. Would you have cried if that happened? Yeah. Wait, uh, with who? First with kiss, who? what age? I just want to know. I was in eighth grade. Okay. Yeah. I was that was grade. crazy. I was that was one grade. of the... I was a freshman. I was, freshman. I was a freshman. I was in high school. I don't even know. Yeah. I was, my, a, I was God. I my, if I kiss a girl in junior high, I do not remember. They were probably trying to kiss you, right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude, we, I was so like just... I was a definition of friend zone in junior high, bro. I think we were all a bunch of fucks in junior high, bro. I was horny in junior high, bro. That's why in the first week I That's why you made out with your sister and had sex with her, right? Oh, wow. What? No, I never had sex with my stepsister. Your brain goes different places. Yeah. I wish my brain can go. Hey, so what was so wait? What was going on in your mind when all that was happening? In did you even fast. think you were the man? Did you even know you were the man? I didn't. I didn't have time to think I was a man. What? I was just like, I was like, I was scared during like you know class because I knew that once lunch or break <laughs> came up, I had to, I had to do I had to act. You had to go see her. Act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she was she was like she was too attractive for me to like. Dude, for me to like even I that. to even I like love that, man. to, to even, be around, right? To even think that this was like a real thing, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> you're like it's a joke. Yeah, it's a dream. It's moving yeah. too fast. This can't be it's real. It yeah. can't be real, right? <laughs> Did you actually? No, no. I know that feeling. Were you like nervous as fuck to like go to school the next day or like see her at lunch? Do you well, ever like uh, think of conversations like, to yeah. have with her? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go like this really quick. I, I, like I feel that way with with a lot right. of things right now. What you mean? I want to see Bailey sometimes. Why? Because you're nervous to see her because she's too beautiful. Yeah. Hmm. Get butterflies. I don't like to mm. take pictures because I'm. I, I hate taking so dick pictures, bro. No, nope, Did you get a new not. tattoo? Yeah. Hey, yo, junior high class. was funny as fuck. I'm thinking junior about high, now. Junior high had a lot and, of. Okay, we had a lot and of the fact that eighth grade and seventh grade was so different. Yeah. That age gap was fucking huge, bro. Because there was only two years. Well, I know, but it was here. ridiculous. <laughs> Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, we're probably gonna take it a wrap from here. Thank you for tuning in. This has been Sober Talks. I'm your host, Nick Rahetta. I am Sean Williams. Austin Don Vito, if your parents have tax issues, uh, DM me. Cynthia Choi. And Mark Shivani. Shivani? I thought it was Shivani. Oh, my gosh. Did you fuck uh, up your last name, It's moving too dude? fast, bro. People, other people do. I oh, it's Shivani? Yes. I I, are you Italian? Shivani. I call you Shivani. Yeah, fuck up. We, we call you the Shivani It's just been twins. going on too long for me to even like. <laughs> it, bro. He's like, I'm making it now at 10 Y'all think I don't give a fuck. fuck. This is the man who does not give a fuck about life. <laughs> It's moving too fast. Man. Anyways, guys, That's you know, we love you down. guys. Thank you for tuning in again. And uh, boycott Frosted Flakes. Please boycott Frosted Flakes. Uh, watch seriously. King of Staten Island this week if you want a movie recommendation. And King please, I'm going to leave my Venmo in the description. <laughs> right. We're putting Austin into therapy. Uh, all, any amount will do. Please and thank you. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, guys.